In this video, I will compare the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U and AMD Ryzen 5 7520U highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both of them are powerful third Zen AMD processor and they have their own strengths as well as weaknesses. So let's look at them. The Ryzen 5 7520U was released approximately 18 months after the release of the Ryzen 7 5700U. While the Ryzen 7 5700U boasts 8 performance cores and 16 performance threads, the Ryzen 5 7520U features 8 performance cores and 4 performance threads. This means that the 5700U excels in multitasking and handling demanding workloads, particularly in tasks such as video editing and 3D rendering. The base clock frequency of the Ryzen 7 5700U is 1.8 GHz, whereas that of the Ryzen 5 7520U is 2.8 GHz. Despite the higher frequency of the Ryzen 5 7520U, the presence of more cores in the Ryzen 7 5700U suggests that it might deliver better performance under normal loads. Both processors share a boost clock frequency of 4.3 GHz, however, owing to its additional cores, the Ryzen 7 is likely to outperform the Ryzen 5 even under heavy loads. The L1 and L2 cache sizes for both processors are 64 KB and 512 KB per core, respectively. However, the L3 cache size differs, with the Ryzen 7 processor having 8 MB shared, whereas the Ryzen 5 7520U only has 4 MB shared. With its larger cache size, the Ryzen 7 5700U gains an advantage in scenarios where data access patterns favor smaller, faster caches, such as in some single-threaded games. The Ryzen 7 processor supports up to 32GB of RAM, while the Ryzen 5 7520U supports up to 4MB of RAM. The Ryzen 7 processor is compatible with DDR4 and LPDDR4 RAM, while the Ryzen 5 processor supports LPDDR5, which also boasts high-frequency support. Both processors support integrated graphics, but the Vega 8 for the Ryzen 7 outperforms the Radeon 610M. The boost clock frequency for both processors is 1900 MHz. Both of these processors lack support for ECC, making them unsuitable for critical systems in servers and workstations. They both support PCI version 3, but the Ryzen 7 5700U surpasses the Ryzen 5 7520U in the number of PCI lanes it can accommodate. The peak temperature supported by the Ryzen 7 is 105 degrees Celsius, whereas the Ryzen 5 supports up to 95 degrees Celsius. Higher temperatures are generally preferred. The TDP of the Ryzen 7 5700U is configurable, ranging from 15 to 25 watts, while the TDP of the Ryzen 5 is fixed at 15 W. Consequently, the 5700U may deplete the battery slightly faster under heavy workloads. Nonetheless, both processors are generally considered energy efficient for everyday tasks. Additionally, this Ryzen 7 5700U is slightly pricier than the Ryzen 5 7520U. In terms of benchmark comparisons, this Ryzen 7 appears to outperform the Ryzen 5 7520U in Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6 for both single-core and multi-core performance. Based on my recommendations, choose for the Ryzen 7 5700U when dealing with demanding workloads such as video editing, 3D rendering, multitasking, and light gaming. It provides superior core performance and slightly better graphics. Choose for the Ryzen 5 7520U when handling everyday tasks like web browsing, office work, and light multimedia consumption. It comes at a lower cost, providing decent performance while being more energy efficient. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update. Thank you.